If you brought plants in last fall, you likely brought some hitchhikers in with them. And usually they're not that big of a deal, but you do need to deal with them. There are five main culprits that may infest your plants. White flies, aphids, mealybugs, spider mites, or scale. All of these are sucking insects, rather than insects that chew. These are the vampires of the bug world, sucking the life right out of your plants. Spotting them is the trick. White flies are probably the hardest to spot. They're so tiny and they hang out on the underside of your plant's leaves. Aphids are a little bit bigger, usually green, and they'll be on everything, stems, buds, and the leaves. And then my absolute least favorite are spider mites. You can't see the insect itself, but you can spot their spider-like webs. Mealy bugs look like white little cotton balls on the leaf axles and joints of plants. Luckily, we didn't find any of that around here, but we did find some scale on this spike dracaena. Most insects can be controlled with soap, but it has to be a pure soap, not a detergent. We use Dr. Bronner's liquid soap. Add about two tablespoons to a quart bottle of water, and you guessed it, shake and spray. Make sure you spray the underside of leaves too, because that's where the insects congregate. And you have to make a direct hit. The soap will dissolve the exoskeleton and they will melt or they will drown in the soapy suds. I also like to use yellow sticky paper in my greenhouse. It's great at catching those flying insects like the little white flies and aphids. And one of the best things to use in the winter inside is neem oil. You can use it any time of year, but it's great for houseplants. Saturate the entire leaf of the plant and in three or four days, check again. If you've still got insects, keep treating. Mealy bugs and scale can be attacked with rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab. Imagine this is still on the plant. Attack it with the rubbing alcohol and then wipe it off. Follow up with a neem oil to kill the small ones you can't see yet. Make sure to cut off any of the severely affected leaves, but do not compost them. Throw them in the trash. If you do have infestations that you really can't control, consider a systemic insecticide. Now, you sprinkle these granules on the soil, and then you water it in, and the roots take up the insecticide and it spreads it throughout the plant, and so whatever bites or sucks on the plant dies. Never, ever, ever use a systemic insecticide on plants or flowers that could be visited by bees or butterflies that insecticide could be in the pollen. And this will last six to eight weeks in the plants, and by then it will be safe to move them outside in May.